Hi, this is Dave Philippi with FabCAD, and I'd like to show you the main feature of our FabCAD 2017. And the real big feature is this little command right here, import PDF file or insert a PDF. So I click on this, and then I click on file, and I'll browse to, here's a church job here, and I know that I want to go to page 17 and bring that in. So you notice on the bottom right there, there it comes, here comes the items and the, everything is like a drawing. All the end of this is all drawn. Now the thing is, I don't know if it's the right scale, so we'll do a linear dimension here. Okay, and it's half inch, so it's supposed to be 12. So I'm going to go in and I'm just going to scale it. and pick a base point anywhere and then I'll hit R for reference and the reference length is the existing length which is half inch 0.5 then it asked me for the new length that was 12 and enter okay so now let's see if everything scaled up like it's supposed to be so here's a railing that's 11 foot 4 I'll do a linear dimension right click pick this line here and it's 11 foot 4 so we know we're good to go now the beauty of this is that you can go in here now and take a takeoff on this job. So if you want to know the actual length of that railing right there, you just do an align dimension, and you know that that piece right there is four foot seven and nine sixteenths. You want to do this long piece along here? We do an align dimension along here, and that's that's that dimension. Okay, so you can do takeoffs with this, and then you can just simply just copy this section here out and you've got the actual drawing so I can go in here I can erase stuff here I don't need and this is an actual drawing right there that's like it's going to help you a lot with your estimating and also with shop drawing development for those of you who have older versions, let me just show you a few of the features from 2016 and you can actually go on YouTube and Click on FabCAD 2016 to see all of the features that are new to that particular version. But let's give you a quick rundown through. So I'm going to import a template here, an inch and a quarter two braille. I'll click OK and next and draw. And you'll notice when I generate the cut list that it also has a column for total cost and total weight. You simply just go in to the customized material selection here, and when you click on and edit, you'll see additional column for unit cost, unit weight. I think that's a real, very important feature to help, uh, can help you with your estimating. There are also some new snaps. Uh, snap to geometric center, so this is pretty cool. I'll draw a rectangle here. If I draw a line and snap to geometric center, snap to the center of that rectangle. Is that cool? And if it could be any shape polyline, or look, I could do a, a six-sided six-sided unit like that. So when I draw, I can draw a circle from the geometric center of that, and there's dead center inside of that. So for drawing your bolts and all that good stuff, your nuts, you could, or any other cool wild design, anything from a geometric center. And it could be any polyline shape that you draw freehand, it'll pick up the geometric center of that. And I don't know if you realize this, but there's also snap between two midpoints, and this is good if you want to put a, a collar in between the pickets here, and snap between two midpoints in the ornamental bin, this is pretty handy. So I'll just draw a line and just pick this, so I'll show you how it works. So I just go from the midpoint here to the midpoint there. You see where the line's originating? It's in the middle of it. So if you have a collar, you go to the midpoint of the collar, and then you move it to the snap between two points, and it'll center it right in the center of the picket. Okay. If you have older versions, I guess you've noticed the overall look is easier on the eyes. Uh, also, to add a new drawing, it's very simple. You just click on this button right here, and you can move from one drawing to the other. On the start page, it has all your existing drawings, the latest ones you've used. You can also pin those. There's a little pin at the top there. You pin it. Hold it up there at the top all the time. 
and there are a lot of visualization tools like for instance if I click extend and right click and I want to extend that line you see it gives me a nice preview of what it's going to look like and I'll hold my shift key down and trim it'll trim if I do a fillet let's see here shows you the preview even when you do a race a race it's got a nice preview there too preview so you, you know exactly what you're racing when you're doing it so a lot of visualization tools the PDF functions are just really tremendous you got some new snaps new look on the screen easy ways to move from one drawing to the other uh, plus there's a bunch of other features that we feature on our FabCAD movie, FabCAD 2016 on YouTube. You can check the rest of the other features out that you want. And uh, if you have any questions, you just give us a call uh, on the number you see on the screen. Take care. Bye-bye.